Recording yourself from the comfort of your own home has never been easier or more necessary than right now. And that's why I want to give you three simple yet overlooked tips from the music industry to make your next speech, pitch, presentation, or lecture easier and overall just better. So let's do it. Tip one, drinking. If you've ever gotten up in front of people and noticed that your throat got a little bit dry when you were about to speak, but it was just fine previously... You haven't been drinking enough water. Also, you're getting a little too stressed. Now, some of that stress you can't do anything about. Actually, a lot of that stress is uh, associated with our digestive system. So are your salivary glands. If you want those to work right, you need to be very hydrated. That means you need to start drinking the day before water. Drinking water. The day before, night before, and day of. Don't just start the day of. It's too late. Water. Clear liquids. If you're a total weirdo, you don't like water. Black tea, unsweet, iced tea. I like iced tea, but HTO when you really need to tea. Most people say that uh, room temperature drinks are better for you, but I just can't do that. I won't drink anything room temperature or warm. I gotta have that iced tea. So if you are one of these people, black tea, unsweet tea, or water. If you get that sugary stuff, the sweetened drinks, Cokes, Pops, beers, any kind of alcohol, it's going to do that to your mouth. You won't like that, neither will anybody else. Lots of water, day before, night before, day of. It really will make a noticeable difference the next time you speak before an audience, whether that's in person or at home by yourself. Get hydrated. Tip two, consider investing in a microphone. With a very small investment, you can have exponential payoffs with just the purchase of a microphone. And nowadays, they come very easy. There's a lot of cheap microphones that actually do a very good job that are just simple. Plug, USB, plug, and play on the computer with little to no additional software. And they sound very decent for what they are. Actually, quite a bit better than what you're getting from your average built-in webcam or through your iPhone. Actually... I'm going to plug this in. I want to give you just a little bit of a comparison between this. It's an iPhone 10 microphone, and what we have here is a very expensive microphone. However, just about any additional microphone upgrade, like actually using a microphone, is going to make a world of difference. And I think you can see that you're going to be able to tell the difference. Your audience is going to be able to tell the difference. Take a listen to this. See if it's worth investing. 50 bucks to get a basic plug and play microphone. If you had additional disposable income, say 150 bucks, $200, you can get yourself a professional grade microphone that'll last you forever and sound excellent. Let me know if you wanna learn more about microphones or you'd like some suggestions, depending on what your budget is and what you want to do with them. I'd love to talk to you all year long about it, so let me know. Tip three, and the most important tip, this is the reason that I'm making this video in the first place, this is the biggest tip I can give you with regard to recording yourself or anybody else out there in front of a camera or a microphone. Record yourself surreptitiously. What this looks like in the recording industry is the recording engineer sitting in the studio talking to the band saying, yeah, just go ahead and play through a couple of those tracks while secretly pressing that record button without them knowing because he knows that the second he lets them know, yeah, you're live now, everybody in that room from amateurs to professional musicians who have been doing this, played thousands of sold out shows all over the world, still to this day, will get tight. When that red light comes on, they get tight and the product ends up sucking. So how do you do this for yourself? How do you record yourself surreptitiously, secretly? The best way to do this is to have plenty of tape, plenty of storage in whatever you're using to record. Press the record button and let it roll. Don't start and stop, start and stop. That is a bad habit to get into. Just play it all the way through until you forget that the camera is there. I make this analogy with early uh, real world, what is that? Uh, uh, reality TV people. The early reality TV people, when they walk into this house, they notice, oh my goodness, there's cameras everywhere. And I am not going to say 
a lot of things that if I were alone, I would. But give them a day, two days, three days, and suddenly they're saying things that, oh my goodness, dude, we're watching you. Don't you know this? But they forgot. Let that camera roll long enough that you forget it's there. Give yourself the freedom to actually feel alone. And that takes a little time to get in the groove, to find yourself in the zone. Press record, let it roll. If you've never been in the zone before, as an athlete, as a musician, sitting in the casino, it's actually an incredible moment to be inspired. See what comes out. But you can't get in the zone if you're constantly starting and stopping. Also, one extra bit of information on starting and stopping. You'll learn the beginning part of that pitch, presentation, speech, lecture really well, and the latter half will totally suck. Why? Because you played the first half a million times and the last half got one, two, three-time treatment. Press record, let it roll, go all the way through, every time. Don't start and stop. Finally, to recap, stay hydrated and start hydrating early. Stay away from the sugary stuff, stay away from the alcohol, Truly, it makes a difference when you're recording. Consider investing in a microphone. A very cheap, simple investment now can have exponential payoffs later. And finally, record yourself surreptitiously. Press record, let it roll until you forget the camera is there. Best of luck to you. Till next time. Sell out with me, oh yeah. Sell out with me tonight. The record companies only give me lots of money.